How's it going? Welcome to, oh wow, comments are blowing up today. Okay, welcome guys. Let me get my face in the camera. I realize that at times, I all you see is like this of me as I read comments. Um, good day to all, Kevin from Devon, welcome. Good day, Kevin, really cold here in Connecticut. Wow, that sounds nice. It's 92 here in SoCal right now. Good morning, everyone. It's gonna be 80s in Central California. I join Chile and Philly. That's fun to say. 80 sounds nice. Uh, good morning, everyone. Like smashed, first one. Hey there, Kevin, Joanne, Denise. Oh, Nancy, you're joining. Um, guys, this is going to be our last consistent uh, live because I'm going to be switching over to the method group here soon. So this is going to be a fun one. We're going to get a big upper body pump today. I'm excited for that. And I hope you are too. Uh, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> Stay the last live, Joanne. It is, uh, yeah, stay's the last day of the live, but Shane is still going to do them occasionally. I think he said every two weeks, but not sure. Tomorrow I'm going to do the live playlist and starting over with number one. Yeah, well, you've got, I mean, you've got like two months that you can go back and do. Um, it's funny. I had, uh, I had somebody post on Instagram today uh, that they tried to do one of our lives and they were just so disappointed by the ads. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, hello everyone. London is warming up and sunny at the moment. That must be nice. Uh, London is sunny. This is worth worthy of a party. Yeah, I feel like that rarely happens. Um, I think this is nature's trick on us during the lockdown. The weather is so much better. Strange weather here also are supposed to have snow flurries on Saturday. What? Um, hey Shane, dot ID official. What's going on? Dot ID. Good morning, Robbie. Erica, good morning. Hello, everyone. Chilly sunny day in central Illinois. Wonder what is in store for our arms. So much, you guys so much. Uh, Denise, how is the knee? Uh, my dad just showed up. We'll join back when I can. Sorry. Tell your dad hi for us. Uh, my legs are still sore from the back legs and core workout two days ago. Can't wait. Uh, Elaine, isn't it? Uh, yeah, my hamstrings are still, by the way, is anybody's chest sore from all the burpees yesterday? Mine are slight. My chest is slightly. Um, good afternoon from Pennsylvania. Uh, Kit, Coach Kitch is here. Hey guys, hey, Erica. Hi all. Hey Shane. Uh, how are you? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Dada D. I'm going to cross it tomorrow. Ooh, so you're able to go back. Danny, congrats. Going to take a selfie with the row machine. Just got my skier and rower so I can survive the no gym lockdown. Dimitri, good for you and lucky you as well. Uh, ads keep the lights on. Just saying. That's exactly right. Cool headphones. Thank you so much. Uh, AirPods. Um, okay. With that, sorry, I have my phone connected here. So um, today is just a lot of arms. It's a lot. A lot of arms, guys. Sally, what's going on? How are you doing? How are you feeling? How's life? Um, it's going to start. So we're going to start with just a straight bench press. I want you to go ahead and just be thinking about what you can be using for some kind of a heavy weight, whether it's a sandbag. I always use the Culligan jug as an example. Um, dog food, something like that. Um, Still can't keep up with all of you. Back to my rowing machine for now until I get more training. Jeff, what do you mean you can't keep up? There's no, there's no like level required here. We're all across, all across the board on what we're doing. We're just doing it together. That's the whole point. Um, so today we're going to be starting with a little bench press um, because why not? That can be modified to floor press, of course, assuming that not everybody has a bench. That's a very normal assumption. So you can do a floor press, which is basically just a bench press, but on the floor. <laughs> the only thing you have to care for is making sure that you descend slowly because those elbows are going to touch the floor and then press up. So don't descend quickly. Um, so we're going to be getting into that. Wow. 52 people jumped in here. That's amazing. Y'all are incredible. Um, so uh, yes, it's going to start with bench. Then we're going to go on. It's going to be four sets of three to five reps. That low rep scheme is intended for strength, power, delivery. It's not about like high rep. We're going to get to that after the bench. So we're going to get through our strength portion. Then we're going to go into more of our, let's call it, in, uh, muscular endurance slash definition session. Uh, in which case, we are going to go to curls and tape press, super set it, okay? Um, I will explain tape press because I assume most of you don't know that. And curls wise, again, some kind of loaded object. You can have one object per two hands or you can have one object per hand. Up to you on that. Uh, you're going to choose the curl that makes the most sense to you. Whatever you want to do, what type of curl, that's up to you. The tape press, I will explain, also going to be weighted with some kind of heavy object. going to do four sets of that. The goal is that we're hitting 10 reps plus 
for each movement. So you will superset. You'll do curls, 10 plus reps. And I want you to stop like two to three reps shy of failure. So I don't want you to fail, but I want you to get very close each time. So you will go 10 reps of curls, then 10, right into 10 reps of tape press, which is a tricep, ex, uh, tricep exercise, tricep extension. So just get your head wrapped around that. Then uh, after our four sets of that, we go on to flies by 10. And then dumbbell or not dumbbell, rollback press by 10 plus. So 10 plus on each of those as well. Um, the flies can be done on, again, any kind of surface can be done on the floor. It works just as well. It could be done standing. If you have a band, you can do banded flies. Lots of options there. Uh, and then to finish it all off, to cap it all off, we're going to do one, two minute, absolute max effort, absolute max effort together. So we're just going to, whatever machine you have, whatever your options are, you're going to do it on that machine. So if it's, you know, sprint on the rower, biker, toe taps, whatever it is, I want you just two minutes of go, absolute go. Okay. That's our workout. So, um, to kick things off, let's go ahead and start with a little bit of a shoulder chest warm up. I'm going to adjust my box here so that it's a good location for all of you. I got the short shorts on today, guys. I'm in a short, short phase of my life right now. Um, in case you guys couldn't tell from all of our videos, <laughs> uh, I just enjoy the barely there feel. By the way, how many of you guys caught the uh, the seat pad review video yesterday? It's blowing up currently. So many people wanted to know about seat pads. I had no idea. I'm happy that we were able to provide that review. Um, I'm just doing quick catch up on comments. Jeff still can't keep. Oh, okay. Uh, how do y'all out of pocket now? Sad to miss the final live, but we'll follow it later. Janita, it's okay. We will be here live. Well, the live will be there later. We won't be live. Uh, Jay Stein, what's up? Be at my 6k yesterday using your 5k follow along. Woohoo. 2353. Sorry. I keep showing up late and doing them later. It's okay, Nancy. Congrats on PRing your 6k. That's a big deal. I will miss being held accountable for these times to work out, though. Mainly join the crew or the method, Nancy, or the method. Uh, concept 2 ship today, tracking UPS almost a month since last entry in logbook. Can't wait. Jeff, congrats on that. Uh, Nancy, I just joined the crew. Do it. Be sure to have the rower delivered. Had to pick mine up. Um, oh, cool. I would definitely miss you all. Need to make a commitment. Thanks. Awesome. Hello. Did yesterday's workout last night? Brutal. Yes. Uh, but fun. I'm going padded for the long rows. Pally, absolutely. I don't think I don't think I'll do a long row without at least some kind of cushion. Now I'm uh, like I got really spoiled all of a sudden with that workout. Okay, so let's do some quick warm ups, guys. Um, again, all warm ups modify with the same. If you don't have the piece of equipment, modify to the same movement style. It's when as a coach, my thought process is always. Like I am trying to, if you don't have the equipment, I'm going to give you a modification that allows you to mimic the same style of movement. So for example, if we're doing, you know, I don't know, let's say that I do scat pull-ups. Okay. That's where I'm hanging from a bar and I am just simply pulling my shoulder blades back and together trying to get my scaps to work. If you don't have a pull-up bar, then what I would like you to do is try and emulate that same kind of straight arm shoulder retraction by like looping a band around a wall, or doing some kind of banded shoulder retraction, right? We're always just trying to mimic that style of movement. So that just from where my brain goes. Um, all right, let's just start in a push up position and we're going to do scap push ups. Go ahead and give me five scap push ups. That's a straight arm, letting the shoulder blades pinch together and then spreading them apart again. And then let's go five walks in each direction, walking your hands around the clock. That's four. And the other direction for me. Five. 
four. And bring yourself to your knees. Very nice. Let's get a little wrist warm up in. So on all fours, you're going to place your hands flat on the floor, straighten the elbows, put your weight onto the hands and just give me 10 rocks forward. You'll feel this stretch through the wrist Two, three, four, five. Now flip those hands over. So you're going to go on top of the hand now. Do the same thing, but this time you're rocking backwards. Two, three, five. Okay. okay, very nice. Now take your hands, spin them backwards. So your fingers are pointing at you. Same thing, now rock back. And now spin your hands in. Try to get those fingers to point at you again, but this time internally rotated. All right, very nice. Now take your fists, place them on the ground. And we're just going to, what I want you to imagine is that you're, again, I, the, <laughs> I always use the, like, you're shoving a microphone in somebody's face, right? Like this. You're going to do that same movement, but on the floor. Try to keep plenty of your weight on your knees. It's not all in the hands right now, but you're just rocking those fists forward. Do five per hand. Okay, now you're going to go the opposite direction. And we're gonna have five more to the front. And five more to the back. Okay, now from the fists again, you're going to open your palm to face you, alternating one at a time. Doing five per side. Very nice, take a little break and we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, very good. Now let's go back up into that push up position. I want you to give me five Top half push-ups, that's 50% range of motion. And then five bottom half. And then five full range of motion. Very nice. Settle back down. Reach that butt to your heels. Stretch those arms out in front of you. Oh, hello, wife. <laughs> on time, like every day on time. <laughs> the wife has entered the chat. Okay, give me five more push ups from the floor, guys. It's arm day. What's that? The air <laughs> Turn the air conditioning on here in the garage. Yes, we have the fan. We could try turning the fan on. Maybe. Um, I'm going to try turning the fan on you guys. Just tell me if it's too loud. Uh, okay. All right. I already have natural cushioning. No need for a pad from Rob. <laughs> I don't. I have no cushioning. Mine is, I, but I understand. Uh, Shane, yes, in Israel, they're starting to open the gym. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to try and turn on the fan so that we get at least some air movement in here. Again, if that's too distracting or too loud, just let me know through the mics. Okay, starting, guys. 
We got four sets, bench press or floor press, some kind of horizontal press where your body is horizontal to the ground and you are pressing, okay? Floor press or bench, totally up to you. Um, I'm going to bench because I have not in forever. Right, this sounds really nice to be able to do for me. So you pick you the rep scheme, three to five reps. Okay, three to five reps. And I did not set that up even. We're going to do four sets. What are you going to do for this, wife? You're going to floor press. You're going to bench press too. Floor press. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's, she's feeling tired today. So she's beat up from this week's workouts. So I'm just still warming up right now. Okie dokie. Again, for those of you who are new here, nobody has ever, ever, ever accused me of having a strong bench press. So, you know, listen, when I start putting up big weights on here, don't be intimidated. And I hope you picked up that that was sarcasm. Because <laughs> there is nothing impressive about what I'm going to be doing here. So I know it may seem like a luxury that I have this equipment, but... Um, Again, a press is a press is a press. It's all valuable. We're all trying to build strength here. Okay. So again, the reason behind the three to five is because, and not just your muscular endurance, which is what we tend to do a lot of. but still warming up. And let's just go here. This will be rep, uh, round one, set one for me, okay? So we can all start kind of same time. Again, you're picking the equipment that works best for you. Um, and guys, as always, just drop questions, comments, and we'll get to them as we're able. But uh, Ugh. Neighbors are walking by right now. <laughs> neighbors, neighbor's dog is pooping in our our compost pile. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I go. I guess pooping in a compost pile is as good a place to poop as any. Okay, guys. Set one. Three to five reps. Here we go. <laughs> That's set one. Oh, I do have my water today, by the way. The water is here in the room. Yeah, in the sauna. I think her dog just pooped multiple times in our driveway. That is how dogs are, though, isn't it? Every time you're walking them, they'll poop and like when you see the person, when you see your neighbor is the time that your dog chooses to poop in their yard. <laughs> huh? Sure. All right. Set one. 135 for me. Feeling heavy. Any runners on this chat? If so, what's your mile time? Run ready reviews. Love your gym. Thank you. Is James here? He would love this stuff. I know this is like a James, like I couldn't have programmed a better workout for James. I have no idea where he is right now. Um, oh, this is nice. I set my urge so that I have a little seat next to you guys. We can chat while we're in the rest periods because strength work, it's like Olympic lifting. If you've ever done an Olympic lifting, like strength cycle, 
once and then it's like five or seven minutes of rest. <laughs> you, you have like so much rest time in between every rep. It basically just becomes like snack and hang out. Shane, did you forget to cuff your weights? Robbie, actually, good point. No, and I don't, I typically do not cuff my weights. Uh, audio video sync problem, I think, unless I've had too much coffee. Let me check. That might be your connection. Is everybody else having an okay time with my audio? Um, Robbie, no, I typically do not cuff my weights. Uh, even when I was Olympic lifting, didn't cuff my weights traditionally. I just, uh, sounds fine. Okay, connection good here. Um, no, I typically don't, uh, especially on bench press, because if I want to be able to bail, I need the weights to be able to slide off the side. Uh, and I was just raised in a setting where you know, controlling your weight is really important. Um, so yeah, I did not, I never, I never cuff my weights. I have my cuffs right here and I'll do it on like strength work, uh, typically like deadlift, things like that. But, uh, no, it was intentional, not accidental. With that being said, let's go ahead and hit set number two. go. I can probably go up a little since I'm hitting five reps. That means that I should technically be going up in weight. Take my own advice here. Okay. Took off 10s, put on 15s. Ugh. It's funny how nothing happens. Um, Great time to work on bracing, absolutely. Um, sync is off for me too, that's weird, Nancy. Rejoin stream, all good now. Oh, Pally, interesting. Uh, maybe Dark Horse Method is just this super well thought out plan. So Shane has a supportive super atmosphere to improve his bench. Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, any advice for making a home gym? Run ready reviews. Number one, if you are building in your garage, check out the rack system I have. Um, I think I have an affiliate link to that below. Um, but it's uh, PRX performance. Any kind of fold out squat rack, in my opinion, is great. That's yeah, that's a great starting weight for you. <laughs> you should you should definitely use that. Um, I love five rep benching. Uh, so yeah, yes, Kitch, this is definitely pro. This build is all built so that I have people to like cheer me on as <laughs> as I work on finally growing my chest, which has always been very flat. Uh, so yeah, advice on making a home gym, start simple. Um, I actually have a, God, where do, I feel like I put together a PDF on like building your home gym, but basically start with the basics, um, easy things to pick up, bands, uh, sandbags, things that, you know, aren't expensive and they're easy to, you know, they, they aren't going to break things and then evolve from there. But if you're going big, like if you're putting in a whole system like I've got, check out any of the systems that basically fold up to the wall because it means you can still park. You can still use that room for other things, which is why I did it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she makes a great point. Um, all Pretty much everything except for the storage equipment. So the squat rack and like the, the plate holders So and the kettlebell holders. But like most of the actual equipment, the weight equipment, the barbells, the bench, the dumbbells, they're all used. I do. I basically don't advocate buying new gym equipment. Yeah, the rings, they're used. They're from a played against sports. Um, so, I mean, that's the thing is you... Weight is weight is weight, right? Um, yeah, Craigslist, Facebook, any of those places. I, weight is expensive, very expensive. I'm usually going to try and find weight and I will jump on a purchase if I can get it for like 75 cents a pound or less. And that's what I wait for. I basically, <laughs> I, maybe I'm cheap or maybe I'm just economical. Um, but like all of my plates, I bought the tens and the fifteens from there's somebody around the corner who had bought them from like a competition and they had like 210 pound plates and 215 pound plates. So they were just like, 
please buy, just take as many as you want. Uh, both the barbells are used. The Olympic lifting plates I brought, I bought from um, the gym that wife goes to. They were selling them and got a fantastic deal on those. So I'll just wait. I'll just buy stuff as it, you know, as it becomes available. So hope that makes sense. Um, okay, next set. Set three. Wait, what? Okay, can you do? You, why don't you go deal with that off of the live? Okay, here we go. Set three. There we go. Okay, one more set to go. Uh, let me catch back up here. You do have a link, but they don't have any available. Ah, bugger. Sorry about that. Should my third 10,000 meter row since the 1st of May. Nice job. Maureen Murphy, can you do a new video in the future to describe your gym? How you guys made the decision to get that specific layout and equipment? I did actually do a video on that. Um, you can go check it out. It's on, it's like how to build a home gym or a garage gym. I don't remember exactly, but start with the concept two roar. They're awesome. <laughs> yes, if you could find them right now, that would be great. Uh, economical is a good thing. Epic black whiteboard. Yeah, except that it just reflects everything. It's a mirror. Um, Kim, it's been a fun ride. Thanks everyone, it's been a blast. I will do this later. Uh, Lean shipping is ridiculous. Find a local gym where you can take their old stuff. That's exactly why I don't buy most stuff new. Um, yeah, they're not in right now. How much? on your bar now, uh, 145, I believe. 145 is what we're doing. So, uh, or is what I'm up to now. I suppose I could probably go up for my last set. All right, let's hit set four before we move on. That is our four sets of five. So I, I have like notoriously not strong shoulders, um, which is why, I don't know, I have always struggled with any kind of pressing, overhead pressing, bench pressing. I can jerk like crazy because I've got strong legs. I can push press like crazy because I've got strong legs. But you ask me to strict press anything that is dismal every single time. Uh, so far, my home gym has a Peloton bike and a couple weights. Sandbag, just pick up a sandbag and a set of bands. You will not regret it. You can do pretty much all strength you need with a sandbag. Uh, Oviedo, Curiosity. Anyone here have the trifecta, concept two, bike, and rower? That is a good question. How many of you guys have that? I do. <laughs> but I'm also, you know, slightly biased. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Okay, so with that, guys, let's move on to our next section. Let me check my notes here. Next up, oh, that's right, okay, curls. Again, your type, your choice of curl, however you wanna do it, okay? I'm gonna clean off my bar because I'm gonna do barbell curls here. Um, curls by 10 plus, tape press by 10 plus, four sets. Now, the curl, again, up to you. Do you wanna do a hammer curl? Do you wanna do a traditional curl? All your choice, do you want to do dumbbell curl? Do you want to do barbell curl? Whatever you like, followed by a tape press. Now, tape press, I'm taking wife's dumbbells here. What are you doing? 
Did they just take our plants? Did they? Uh. <laughs> apparently, apparently the neighborhood has taken to pooping on our pi our brand new pile of really nice soil lately, and our neighbors are stealing our plants. Did she actually take one? Why are you, you going to go get it back? Why? <laughs> okay. So next, tape press guys, you're going to take dumbbells or some kind of weighted object and you're going to go thumbs facing each other, thumbs facing each other. Then from here, you're going to roll in so that your elbow starts to point out. You're going to bring the weight down to your chest and press back up to extension. Okay. Like you're bringing your knuckles together or fists together each time. Okay. Again, you're going to do 10 plus of those. So pick a weight. You'd be surprised how heavy that can get and how quickly that can happen. Um, so we want 10 plus reps. If you pick a weight that's too heavy, well, you picked a weight that's too heavy. So go lighter. Um, let's see. Robbie, I really like your rack that folds up. It gives you the ability to step back. I have a cage and it feels really constricted. That's exactly why. Uh, because it just folds flat up against the wall. And I have low ceilings, but these uh, typically have a pull-up bar on them. As long as you have a, my ceiling's pretty low in here because it's an old building. Um, but they typically have a pull-up bar on them as well. So you get everything that you need out of this rack. So, um, Commercial treadmill and concept two rower here. Nice. Shane, imagine a fire can only take two things from the garage. What do I take? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of, of, are you saying gym equipment? Because uh, if it's gym equipment, well, a rower so that I can continue my career and uh, gym equipment. We're picking gym equipment. And I'm going to go kettlebell. I'm going to go kettlebell and the rower. Have you rowed in an actual rowing boat? Sebastian, yes. I have. <laughs> uh, went to the national championships in an actual boat. Big heavyweight men's eight. Uh, sorry, guys. Back. Family's unpredictable. How dare you, Denise? Uh, try Kaftra. That's an awesome modulation therapy for cystic fibrosis. Uh, we have a... a Lamont, oh, a Lamont Remaster Pro and a Nordic Track Incline Trainer and a Concept 2 RAR. I want the skier. The skier is good. Um, guys, I have to go. We'll miss you. I'll see you on the crew. Danny, love it. See you later, man. Uh, have you rode in an actual boat? Yes. Rower and kettlebell. Hydrate if you haven't already. Done. Uh, I signed up for the crew, so you'll see me. Nice, bro. Uh, what university? University of San Diego. Okay. So, next up, guys. We're moving on. Curls. And tape press. So I'm going to start with an empty barbell. Are you going to do, join this? Am I doing it? I, don't, I have no idea what you're doing right now. <laughs> just, it's a defending the property. Yeah, she's defending the property from our evil older neighbors who just walk by and apparently are taking plants from our front yard right now. Um, okay, so curls and then tape press. You missed my explanation? <laughs> okay. Okay, hitting it up, guys. On the curls, set one. I am using a barbell. 10 plus reps, and you're stopping two to three shy of failure. All right, right into our tape press. Wife has no idea what tape press is. So it can be done on the floor. You don't need a bench for it. Yep. Tape press. 
Bring your fists together, elbows out to the side. Nice and slow. You are not helping me at all. <laughs> yeah. Good. The wife likes that one, guys. It gets her approval. Good work. <laughs> she's full of energy now that she's defending our property. <laughs> um, Rower Model 8 and an old chain belt life cycle. Nice. Uh, will do, Danny. What's the crew? What is the crew? What? The crew's our training program. <laughs> the crew's the training program. It's like our everyday training pro program where we have all of our library of, of uh, cycles that you can go through, everything from 500 up to marathon. It has everyday workouts, follow along workouts. It has our learn to row program. Um, it has unlimited coaching, private Facebook community. That's the crew. The method is our new program that we're launching, which is linked in the description below, which is all wait listed right now because we are full. Um, but it is a more integrated, fully rounded program where we're taking what, these live workouts and I'm taking this effort that I'm able to put into these and moving it over to um, that group because that group is going to, we're going to really kind of like beef up um, what we're doing here and talk about way more, right? Still doing these workouts, but also offering more opportunities to, to folks on other parts of our life um, that are not just fitness. So, woo! Anybody else feeling that? How's that one feel? I already feel like my arms are bigger. Are you doing the curls and the presses in the same at the same weight? Yes, should I be? No, it's totally up to you. I was just asking. I, Making conversation. Cool. All right, guys, set two. Let's get after it. Everybody will be able to see it. Okay, right into the tape press. No rest for the weary. Tate. Remember, guys, do not fail, but come as close as you can. Yeah. All right. How's it feeling? Two sets down. Love arm work. I know, me too. Jason, I'm still talking with Keith about the crew. Want to join? How do you like it, Danny? What do you think, Danny? And Danny, have you? Well, you haven't had a rower though. So what are you doing in the crew? I mean, I know we have a strength program. Are you doing that? Curious. Okay. 
What's that? Apparently. How much dog poop is out there? So people are just letting their dogs poop in our driveway right now. What are you? Oh. Who? Oh, you probably just didn't see it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, if one does it, then all the other dogs want to do it. <laughs> all right. How's that feeling, guys? What are you thinking? Spread the fertilizer as fast as possible and maybe move it to the backyard. Yeah, I have to finish. I have to build the boxes. I have the lumber. Now I need to build the boxes so that I can fill the soil into the boxes themselves. Because I also don't want it sitting out here and just drying up. So we're having to like keep it wet at the same time. Um, because of all the good life inside there. Uh, but it's five yards, so it's a lot of soil that I have to move. Um, I might end up having to do that today, apparently. I might have to go rapidly build four boxes and uh, and then fill them with soil. I can barely type, that's how I'm feeling, but feeling the endorphin rush. Nice neighbors. Yeah, I don't, we do have good neighbors, but I don't, <laughs> I saw this, she's a little old lady that walks by like every day with her little pug. And I did see her grab something and just like quickly shove it into like she, she a bag. Didn't she grab stuff for her yeah. 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 Come here. <laughs> well, turtles love. This is my dog. Like She's coming to, to lick salt off me. It's her favorite. <laughs> she, turtles love to eat the flowers off of this tree. We can offer her the flowers from the tree. Frozen, frozen turtles. <laughs> Apparently, wife wants a turtle. This is this is our dog, everybody. What on the live? Wife, wife thinks she remembers somebody on the live having a turtle. Is this true? A tiger turtle, something like that. And we don't need a turtle, just like we don't need rabbits. We have plenty of live rabbits around here. Our neighbors have turtles. <laughs> uh, a second, I feel like I might be able to wash my hair. Like, <laughs> might not be able to wash my hair later. <laughs> A second, yeah, exactly. Cute dog, take care of him. We do. She's amazing. She's a great little dog. She's, she actually is really, really incredible. She's really smart. She gets along with our chickens. She chases off the crows so the crows don't eat the chickens' food. She's great. Um, yeah, oh, Denise. Yeah, Denise has a leopard tortoise. Vegetarian. The, the tortoise is vegetarian, or you are, Denise? <laughs> Florida snapping turtles are quite scary. Guard turtle. Oh, snapping turtles. We'll train them. We'll train it as a guard turtle. We'll put it out next to the plants. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get set three, you guys. Set three, here we go. Again, make sure you don't go to failure, but you gotta get 10 plus reps. Let's hit it. Yeah. Right into the tape press. This is set three. Right? Set three, not set four. Oh. 
Uh, woo. That is bigger than usual. It's very, a lot bigger, a lot bigger than usual. <laughs> Can you fit one more of these live workouts in this Friday just for me? <laughs> I work on scheduling like our first bi-weekly one for next week. How about that? Um, the tortoise, maybe the guard will guard the plants. <laughs> I did see her like quickly shove it in a bag. You knew what she was doing. Little old lady. Thank you for going to come good with all of our neighbors. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, a little woof woof. It is warm in here. Yeah. I actually have a thermostat up on the wall here. It's 91 in the garage at this moment in time, which is great before the work. As, it, as we get hotter, as the workout is going on, you... Uh, you guys appreciate the cold, and then the hot becomes not advantageous. Uh, on my end. Anyone else? Am I buffering for other people? Me too. Uh-oh. Same here. Uh, our last live, and of course, YouTube decides to throw up. Maybe it's because you're watching video too. <laughs> yeah, I'm buffering too. Video, it lost and then it comes back up. <laughs> yeah. Stronger arms with home workout. Oh, shoot. We have to wait for that. Is it lagging? Huh. Oh, well. The show must go on. And three, two, one, go. Reps dropped on that one. Uh, into the tape press. Oh, cha cha. Change. I plug in my phone. No. Nope. Yeah, just in the last few minutes. Maybe letting the lady have the flowers will give some joy. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for it. If she took it, she needs it more than we do. It lags, then it comes back. Buffering or two. Hit or miss here for sure. So weird. Uh, someone called the buffer place. <laughs> yeah. Use the la lag buffering to jump straight to, and that's our 100 uh, live session. Should be doing their two week class. Likely. I just got Shane needs to make a living. Focus on the new Dark Horse method, but he's going to do live workouts every two weeks. We can join the crew link below. Really cheap. Uh, yeah, the crew link. Um, you know. Uh, so crew and then the the sign up link for the waitlist is for the dark horse method which is the new program uh and that's below as well can't afford the crew do what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do left i just need to join the over here truly like it was really special having you guys here um joe cab wish i had 35 to the tape press 30 a little too light and i think 40 would be too much yeah it's a middle ground how many reps are you getting with the 30s triple cap i'll have to ask wife about crew joining a ton of the funds right now how much is it 19 dollars a month u.s so even cheaper than us, right? Yeah. 
we'll 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 let her we'll let her take it. Uh, okay, next up. Oh, what are you doing? Finishing your bench press reps? She's catching up with her uh, Shane to buffer. Twelve to fifteen. Yeah, that's about fifteen reps. You get to work out with the thirty. Plus ten, and don't fail. So you're good. The rep was good, or the weight was perfect. Uh, just got an update from Constitute Vermont opening up, so hopefully my roar will arrive on the UK shores by July. Yeah, I actually did hear that. Uh, I was talking with him the other day. I guess they're slow back to manufacturing. I don't know what the timeline, but now they have that big old wait list that they have to catch up with. Okay, next up, guys. Same rep scheme. So four ups may borrow these and the bench. And then I'll let you hit another set after a demo. So next up, guys, you're going to do fly. Um, for weight you want, but I would suggest using a bent elbow. Okay. Letting that weight carry out to the side, bring it back together. And at the top, give it a speed. Okay. This can be done on the floor, whatever you like. Okay. Flies. And then right into a dumbbell or a wood, you're going to bend the elbow to 90. And then you bring your knuckles to the floor. And from the floor, essentially, so now my dumbbells are, so elbows to 90, and then roll the knuckles to the floor. That's the roll back, press. 90, then bring the knuckles to the floor, press. Okay, that's our movement. Our two movements, again, 10 plus on each. Don't hit it. What? Uh, so, um, that is your, your two movement choices not choices. Those are the two movements we're doing. Super setting. So you're going to do your flies 10 plus, but stop before failure. And then you are going to superset right into the rollback press, both weighted in some way. Okay. Um, got the same update, just rowers. No skiers. Shane, do live comments go up when you post the video? I think they do. Cause I feel like I've gotten a few comments about people who were watching in rerun. Um, but they don't show up as comments. They show up in the video itself, I believe. No confirmation on that. Never done that roll back press before. Felt good. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good, another tricep. So we're tricep, tricep. Okay. Um, so, and we did the bench. Now we're doing flies, chest, bicep. Okay. Make sense to everybody? All right. I am going to attempt with 30s, I think, for the flies and then we'll see where we go from there <laughs> okay set one okay the roll back. So again, both can be done on the floor. No bench needed. I got heavy fast. Juice that's why. I... What's that? All right, how does that one feel? Sorry, I have to go today. See you guys in the crew for every other fortnight. Big thanks to Shane and the farmies. RC, so appreciate you having been around. It's been fun, guys. It's been real fun. I appreciate all of you. Two months, two months plus, eight, nine weeks, something like that. So jealous. Drop your weights like that. Need an absorbent floor. Three quarter inch horse stall mats. The least expensive rubber flooring option, I believe, out there. Buy them in four by six sheets. 
um, Punk 839 space and uh, three quarter inch. It's pretty good. It's pretty absorbent. It's been great. We'll see you in the next one. Going to really miss these. Thanks so much, Shane. You're welcome, Triple Cap. Uh, so glad I purchased launch, Shane. Can still see you every day, Joanne. It's true. If you guys get into the crew and then to launch your rowing, you'll, I'm with you every day. And again, guys, we'll be doing one every other week. So we'll still have one together um, so that I can, you know, still maintain this connection because I do enjoy this. Uh, but, you know, again, driving my efforts into uh, into a way that, you know, we can kind of keep keep at it in a way that uh, it can enrich for everybody, I guess. All right. Set two, shall we? Guys, my arms are feeling big. That doesn't ever happen. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah. Okay. You're safe. Twenties <laughs> feel so. <laughs> she hears them drop right above her head, and she feels like I'm gonna drop them on her. <sighs> Scott, yes, I will set. I will uh, schedule it. Um, about the road. Looking forward to doing some training sessions uh, based on on your guidance. That's amazing. I love that punk eight three nine. Jump into the crew. It's an easy one, guy. Um, it's like that's try to make that as affordable and as value packed as possible for everybody. So it's an easy way to be able to continue from here. And so Scott, yeah. uh, what does your day look like right now, Shane? Work out with us. Then lots of filming and computer time. Lots of computer time. A little bit of filming today. Next Tuesday. And a workout for Sunday. Our first day available for any Zwifters. If you want to join the riding team, concrete, I want to join, but couldn't figure out how. Also, once on Zwift, don't know how to search for a specific rider. We have a bigger group crew, and our four CF guys in a workout web. Love, love, love your running workouts. Uh, you guys are, y'all are making me sad now. That was not the intent, and I appreciate it. Uh, our crew for sure. You're in I've learned. Thank you for sharing your time and knowledge all these weeks. Hugs and best wishes to all. FYI, Shane, about every 20 seconds, we lose you for three seconds. That is so weird. No idea what's going on today. I'll send you my email via Zwift. So glad we were part of your recovery. It's been pretty amazing. Guys, when we started this, I was two weeks post accident. Two weeks. And having, like, I wasn't getting anything done other than sitting on the bike for an hour. Look at Look where we are now. How cool is this? I don't know. Maybe not workouts. Maybe we'll just do some like lives together, just some hangout sessions. Huh? Oh yes. Flies. Yeah, I've been doing it the whole time. Twenties for the day. Trying to get sore, apparently. <laughs>
I missed. I only got eight. I missed the seat pad right now. <laughs> she has it. The the uh, memory foam is under her head right now while she's doing the rollback press. Um, uh, and it's even such motivation to me. And I thank you for this time. Uh, I just, uh, smash it. Join the team on Concept Two Logbook. Yeah, uh, guys, if you're on the Concept Two Logbook, make sure you join Dark Horse Rowing um, so that you represent for our team there. I'm lucky I washed my hair today because tomorrow, no, nah, yeah. We'll try it, failed last time. Uh, yeah, I have, <laughs> we're all gonna be feeling up muscle fibers I've never used before in my tries. Punk 839, be very careful. Don't overdo it now, because when you start feeling that, you are gonna feel the soreness tomorrow. So just be, be smart right now. Uh, we still have one more set. And then the finisher, eight. It's going to be the longest two minutes of your life. <laughs> um, James, if you watch this later, Strava, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we're all going to feel it. But side by side instead of end to end. How do I find the team in the logbook? Uh, I mean, you just, I believe you just searched Dark World. Uh, Nate says thanks. I really enjoyed it. You did a great job motivating him. Nate. Nate, I want you to go back and use our other live sessions. Don't lose the motivation, okay? And if you need to connect further, just get a hold of us uh, there. Say, hey, I'm happy to continue supporting. So whatever you do, don't let the motivation stop after today, okay? Go back to the lives. Stay connected, all right? I mean it. Um, yes, follow. Okay. Should we do our last set? Here we go.
it's only fitting that I go out on this big route using the biker, since that was how I started. Totally. <laughs> all of these. Can you just take all of them? No, babe. What are you gonna do, skier or row? Oh, okay, don't worry about it then. Uh, buffering stopped, when your AirPods kicked out, I can hear the fan now. My, what is going on today? Yeah, buffering not as bad now on NCP, because maybe it was your AirPods dying the whole time, FYI for future. Logbook, thanks for your time and knowledge. Keep it going, everyone, this is our jump off. Freeze a bit. If Shane throws the AirPods in the charger, it might stop, but it is much better. Join Dark Horse team in Logbook. Yes, love it. Gratzelian, gym cleanup was flawless. No freezing. <laughs> oh, thank you. The, the gym with no buffer and just not use the mic for the end. All right. Well, we'll see what happens when I open the AirPod case. Okay, well, if anything, we're off of the AirPods now, um, and we have a two-minute sprint in front of us. Two minutes, and that's it. We're done. Max effort, you guys. I need you to choose whatever your machine. If you don't have a machine, you can do toe taps on a surface. You can do high knees in place. Are we ready? Get set up. Button, new workout D button, single time B button, and raise the A button once, that's the right arrow, and then the B button twice, that's the plus button, and the left arrow, the D button once, and the minus button C three times, one, two, three, that zeroes it out to two minutes, and uh, that's all we need. Okay, I have two minutes on my clock, this is a max effort sprint, two minutes you guys, what can you do, go for the glory. Let's do it together, all right? Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Yeah. I'm glad the two minutes was quick <laughs> over there. Oh. Oh. Hello. Nah. You're mentioning the dailies. No, no. <laughs> I will linger 
with you over through the weekend. I have a really, if you're not used to doing volume arm stuff, dang Shane, I'm proud of your recovery. You're a beast on the bike. Yeah. Far fitter people than I. I just like to go hard. <laughs> but Denise, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, drink. Oh, that was good. Tiptoed on the spot. My neighbors in the apartment below are going to love me. <laughs> Heart rate 158. <laughs> have you guys ever seen the video this is great this is an oldie maybe three years old now yeah. a video called like everybody's upstairs neighbors oh my God. have you guys seen that or like the neighbors upstairs or something like that google it it's hysterical y'all anybody who's ever lived in an apartment downstairs of somebody you you're gonna still to this day it makes me cry like every time i watch it it's so funny hey fabio you're right everyone Everyone's upstairs neighbors. That's it. Um, okay, guys. You want to go help them? Sure. I'll be right there. It has been... I had 111 subs today, so I'm happy. Uh, thanks, Fabio. Appreciate that. I should be racing on Zwift. It would be fun to try Zwift again, because last time I did it with no like intention or real connection. I felt like I was always alone on it. Um, Dan, how do I... Sorry. Someone has requested on Strava. That's me. Dan, if, can you find me on Zwift? Can you find me in like invite in concept to connect directly to Zwift? Just check it out when you get a chance. Uh, I have used it before, but it was with like my old, it was with my old uh, PM5 V1. So the connectability wasn't great. And I, I would had issues with it. Where like some days like my cyclist just wouldn't move no matter how much I was working. Just did a 150, 500 best for me in a while. Thanks in large part to you, Triple Cap. No, thanks in large part to you. You showed up and you did the work. I can find people on the Zwift companion app. Denise, find me. It'd be fun to jump in and, and do those workouts with you guys. Uh, okay, gang, I got to roll. It's been an absolute blast. I love you all and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You guys were a huge part of my recovery process and I thank you for that. Um, and it's been incredible. I truly hope, uh, pretend the last are off. I truly hope that you will come and join for all the lives that we do in the future every other week. Um, I will, I'll schedule it. We'll have it up. Um, but really you guys like made this happen and I appreciate it all. Um, and you guys are just incredible. Fabio, not the time right now. Uh, so Emily, so happy that you were able to make this last one too. Uh, probably has to say at the end of lock, stock and two smoking barrels, it's been emotional. <laughs> Uh, love you guys. Y'all have been amazing. Seriously. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've helped me solidify what will be a lifelong habit and passion. Great workout with y'all and hydrate. Even if I'm not there to tell you, I will forever think about hydrating because of you, Denise. <laughs> thank you, Shane. Love your workouts. I'm down to one nine ninety nine from two ten. Sally, that's incredible. I'll send you email address. Shane, I'll drop you my mail on Strava. Okay, cool. Uh, go Sally Jones. Make the world a better place, people. Yep, that's what it's about. Go spread the love. Go be better, do better, help other people be better. Um, we'll talk to you all later. Keep tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments and on the next live.